Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here. Time for another Patreon-sponsored Blind Reaction. And this one comes to you courtesy of Book Lover, who has requested that I react to another video from Jaden Animations. This time it's an uncomfortable trip to the UK. So, yeah, that sounds interesting. I wouldn't really expect a trip to the UK to be that uncomfortable, honestly. I mean, of all the foreign countries to visit, um... That's one of the ones that actually seems the least intimidating, just because, I mean, it is the same language, uh, the culture isn't that different. I mean, obviously there are major differences, but uh, it, it seems like it would be familiar enough, and uh, like it wouldn't be too just weird. Um, though, maybe it's less about the UK and more about what happened on this trip. I mean, that definitely seems very possible, and uh, yeah... I don't know, but uh, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Let's go ahead and get this started. Here we go. I've been traveling a lot lately, and it's been really dope. And I know I've done a couple travel-related videos already, but when you talk about your life and all that's today. been going on in your life is travel stuff, then uh, sorry, yeah, yeah. But that's I mean, you just gotta, what's on the menu. <laughs> gotta I'm do like what you gotta do. I'm a fine dining, fancy video making chef. I only serve what's ripe and in season. Quality stuff, only the finest. Was the mouth always you. fully that animated? Being said, so I peed on my wallet. I was visiting my oh. friends in the UK for New Year's and we were spending the weekend in London to do some fun stuff together. During the day we did a bunch of fun touristy stuff like the London Dungeon, Shrek's Adventure, Road um. in a Helicopter. Alright, that's a lie. Shrek's adventure wasn't that fun. We were in line for like an hour, and the actual thing was more childish than we thought. He didn't even fly out the window like in that one video. Anyway, oh. we were back in the hotel about oh. to go out and get dinner when I realized <laughs> that one video. it wasn't in my pocket. I thought I left it in my backpack or something, but a quick rummage around confirmed that, guys, I have indeed lost my wallet. They were understandably um. freaked out. Like, out of all the things you can lose in a foreign country, a wallet is pretty up there on the not good chart. It could have yeah. fallen out of my pocket at any point of the day, and we'd literally been all over London. Here's the thing. I don't like bags or purses because I think they're too much of a hassle to carry around, and I don't like the feeling of minor inconveniences because I'm a baby. So a couple months ago, <laughs> I got a new slim wallet that can fit in my tiny woman jean pockets. That was super great, but I realized pretty early on that it slips out of my back pocket really easily when I sit down and stand up because yeah. of the aforementioned tiny woman jean pockets. But for some reason, I still think drastically increasing the risk of losing all my credit cards and identity is still less convenient than carrying a bag. Either way, what I'm trying to get at is that all day, I was constantly checking my wallet was in my pocket because I knew it can fall out easily and oh. get lost. And I was doing a great job until it fell out and got lost. My friends were more freaked yeah. out than I was. I think my brain's at a point where it's tired of using extra energy to be overly anxious because of the dumb crap I pull, so I was pretty calm. Or maybe I'm incapable of feeling anything anymore. <laughs> I retraced my steps in my head and concluded that I most likely lost it at Shrek's adventure. I remember having Kay. it at breakfast and in the helicopter, but maybe not in Shrek's swamp. My friend sent an email to Shrek's adventure because for some reason they don't take calls and we were gonna have to wait until the next day to hear back from them because they were closed by then. Backup plan was that if it wasn't there and I didn't find it before then, I'd just have to cancel my cards and get new ones and I wouldn't be able to leave the country. So we headed out for dinner. Okay. It was really nice. Especially since I didn't have to pay. And got back to the hotel <laughs> two hours later. The I mean, that is an advantage. The wallet was pretty died down because there wasn't much we can do other than wait for Shrek to contact us. We turned on a movie <laughs> and I went Shrek. into the bathroom. And when I lifted up the seat... Oh. What the fuck? Guys, oh my god. The wallet was in the toilet the whole time. At first it was like, uh, what the heck happened? How yeah. did the wallet get in how, the fucking how, how? toilet? But after a little bit of thinking with all the puzzle pieces, I think I know exactly what happened. Right before we were going to dinner, I went to the bathroom. And while I was ahem, preparing to use the bathroom, my wallet must have fallen out and into the toilet. And I didn't notice because I don't check the toilet after I use it. Maybe Maybe you're supposed to. I don't know. I don't know what's normal. Nothing's normal about this situation. So after I leave, that's when I realize my wallet's gone. And when looking around the room, obviously my mind doesn't go to checking the toilet. So we emailed Shrek. Shrek, you're never gonna believe where we found it. But nope, it was sitting right here in the toilet. I actually was good at keeping track of my things. I didn't lose it at Shrek. <laughs> but here it is. I totally peed on it. And that's how I peed on my wallet. No, I okay. didn't get a new one. I still have it. 
I don't know. I mean, it's a good wallet. I, I still like it. It just had pee on it. So that's that story. Going back in time. <laughs> when I Fair enough. Okay, pre pee wallet. PP for short. I was waiting in line to get through customs when this guy bumps me from behind. I was standing still and the line wasn't moving, so it was kind of <laughs> weird that happened, but he was immediately like, oh man, sorry about that. So I told him it was all right. He bumped me in a way that he ended up a little in front of me, so he goes, well, I... you were in line first, and then gestured oh. that I reclaim my spot, and I was like, oh, thanks, and stepped forward. But he didn't step back, so now we were standing next to each other, which felt weird. Then he started trying to make some small talk. What's your name? Jaden. Nice. So what brings you to the UK? Oh, just visiting friends. Oh, that's actually really nice of you. I didn't expect such generosity since all girls are selfish. Uh... Okay. that by me again? Excuse me? The two guys in front of us kind of glanced back like, whoa, that was a bit of a yikes. I mean, I'm no conversational genius, but no matter what you believe, I think that's a bit too strong of an opener right there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> just, uh, just a little? I mean, not all of them are. No, they are. You can just say that because you're a girl. Well, all right then. I guess I have nothing else to say, really. I gave him a <laughs> and left it at that. Man, no one here has a UK passport. All right, my dude, I'm getting the hint you want to chit chat more, but you're all over the place with this conversation here. When you open with all girls are selfish, that's a pretty isolating stance to take at a girl. I don't think you've yeah. got enough social skill points to bring this one back. <laughs> also, uh, yeah, this is the non-UK passport line. They did that on purpose, ya goober. I said that to him. I was like, yeah, this is the non-UK passport line. And he just goes, oh yeah, they did do that. <laughs> and then fist bumps me again. I'm feeling really uncomfortable at this point. I thought it was weird he bumped me when the line wasn't moving. I thought it was weird he manipulated the situation so I'd stand next to him. I thought it was weird he hates women. <laughs> I didn't feel unsafe or anything because, I mean, customs at the airport are yeah, yeah, but... one of the safest and most security guarded places you can be in, and there were plenty of people around. But he's still a tall, scraggy weirdo in a hoodie with crazy in his eyes. It got quiet again because I wasn't really trying my hardest to keep up a conversation and after a while so many people have iPhones what's the deal with that yeah it's pretty big brand do you have an Android or something no nah, I'm not a materialistic kind of guy oh <laughs> okay Judging by that response, I was like, I guess he doesn't have a phone then. Not a minute later, <laughs> he takes out his, like, Google f or Windows phone or something. Soldier Boy phone. Dude, what? Who are you? What is going on? <laughs> this is so weird. You're like the airport customs line riddle master. Answer me these questions three and you may reclaim the spot taken by me. So what's the deal with women, phones, and minorities? Then he started going on um, and asking about my friends. What are your friends like? Have you even known them for a long time? I bet they don't visit you. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go to the back of the line. It's like he was jealous of my friends that w they were friends with me, but also like, I thought you hated girls, which is what I am. You do know I'm a girl, right? Does this guy know what a girl is? Finally, when it was my <laughs> turn to go up, he was like, well, it was nice meeting you, Jaden. You're pretty nice. Uh, yeah, thanks. Also, stop fist bumping me. And also a nerd. Hey, I'll, uh, right, that one's pretty accurate. Anyway, I hope I never see you again. I didn't actually say out loud to him that I never wanted to see you again, <laughs> but I thunk it. Also, I have some things to tell you about. Besides the fact I have Invisalign in and I sound very lispy, James, me, Domix, Ross, and Aaron are going on tour with our Scribble Showdown show. Showdown show. We did our first tester show in April and it was so much fun and we laughed and had such a great time during it and it was really well received so we were like yes we want to do more in other places. It'll be October 1st through the 9th and we're going to Boston, Brooklyn, Austin, San Francisco, Seattle, and Portland. You can get tickets and more details in the description. I'm also going to VidCon. Oh and we're also doing a scribble showdown during VidCon 2 on July 13th so I hope to see some of you there and lastly I'm going to summer in the city in London in August. It's a bunch of stuff and it's gonna be a lot, but also a lot of fun. All right, I think that's all for now. My laundry machine is running right now, so I don't know if you can hear that. I'm trying to shrink some shirts. Don't think I can. Men, but I thought they looked cool, so I bought them for me. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. 
Well, <laughs> that was interesting, and yes, it was definitely more about what happened. Actual UK. Um... I didn't know Shrek's Adventure was one of the major sites in the UK. <laughs> but apparently it is. <laughs> and I just love how uh, we, uh, we, yeah, demonstrated <laughs> emailing Shrek's Adventure by actually having Donkey and Shrek at the computer. That was, that was fun. Um, but yeah, just a fun video all around. I mean, her... Delivery on all this stuff is very, uh, very appealing. And, uh, I don't know. And she's pretty funny. And I just, uh, I just like Jaden. I think she's, <laughs> she makes good content. I, I can see the appeal, having watched enough of it now. Um, and, uh, cause I mean, it doesn't really seem like it would be that interesting. Just, uh, this, girl talking about stuff that happened to her and it being animated but uh there is uh there is a draw to it i mean <laughs> i don't know and the animation I, I, as i noted the the mouth i don't remember it being that smoothly animated before maybe this is i don't know maybe i just haven't watched her in a while but uh yeah the animation actually was uh pretty good for that and uh, there was a lot of different uh stuff uh like drawn i mean <laughs> we had a lot of uh amusing vi visuals to go along with the storytelling and uh, that helps a lot um and we got two stories the wallet story and then the guy in the line and um honestly i mean i, I well I, I don't know the i've never actually lost my wallet before but uh, losing anything just the feeling that goes along with that is uh when you misplace something is is kind of just really uncomfortable but i think the guy in the line that's even more uncomfortable when someone like that actually wants to engage with you that uh just yeah you uh i mean that could be weird <laughs> and uh, you got to wonder what that guy's deal was um Especially the whole phone thing. If he actually pulled out his phone and after saying that, <laughs> like, I, I I don't know, but um, yeah, definitely an interesting character she happened to come across. Um, but yeah, fun video. Definitely enjoyed it. Um, and there's more Jaden coming. Another video. From her was requested this month so look forward to that uh anyway hope you liked the reaction let me know if you did and see you in the next one